23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. And I'm Tim Callahan. Here's what's making news around Kern County. A teen allegedly showing a handgun to two Lakeside school students waiting for a bus in southwest Bakersfield. It happened around 945 this morning. Police saying the teen did not directly threaten the students who then boarded the bus and told administrators about the incident. BPD later finding out the 14 year old boy who allegedly showed the gun was a former Lakeside student now attending Independence High School. He allegedly stole that gun from a relative. Officers going to the home finding the gun, but not the teen. When police find the teen, they say he'll face charges of unlawful possession of a firearm. New details tonight on a crash this afternoon in central Bakersfield. According to CHP officials, a semi truck went over a bridge and into a canal near Golden State Highway. CHP says the truck hit the curb and then lost control and went over the side of the bridge. According to CHP, the driver was uninjured but transported by hall ambulance as a precaution. The Delano Mosquito Abatement District announcing they'll be conducting an ultra low volume fogging in the Terrace Drive neighborhood in Delano this Thursday night. Officials saying they need to fog. It'll be an affect around 70 homes in the area. According to the district, the fogging will specifically take place on the street and any back alleys nearby around 11 o'clock. The district said it detected an increased number of mosquitoes in the Terrace Drive area there. And last week, officials said the total number of human West Nile cases up to three for 2019. The first human case of the virus reported in Kern County August 23rd. Residents urged to contact the district 725-3114 if they have any questions. Today was the third day of temperatures in the triple digits here in Bakersfield. Those are consecutive days, and it looks like we have two more on the way for your Wednesday and Thursday. But then a big cool down as we head into the weekend near seasonal with a high of 93 degrees on Saturday, 86 and breezy on Sunday, and those 80s continue into early next week. That's your latest news and weather. You can find the top stories anytime at turn to 23.com. Good night.